हरे कृष्णा प्रभु जी मुस्लिम से दैट द इस्लामिक डेफिनेशन ऑफ हेवन इज ओनली एक्सक्लूसिवली रिजर्व फॉर मुस्लिम क्रिस्टियंस स्टेट द सेम थिंग दैट द क्रिस्टियन डेफिनेशन ऑफ हेवन इज ओनली रिजर्व फॉर डिवोटेड क्रिस्टियंस एंड वी एज वैष्णव ऑल्सो से दैट दैट वैकुंठ लोक गोलोक डिंदा वन इज ओनली एंड ओनली रिजर्व फॉर कृष्णा डिवोटीज और वैष्णव वाई इज दैट सो Why can't people from other religion enter it? Why is everybody saying if you become uh, Muslim you can go to Jannat and uh, if you become a Christian you will go to heaven and if if you become a Hindu then you will go to uh, why couldn't our Swarga? That's your question. So that's very natural if we understand that religions are like colleges. There is a you know. physics college there is a college teaching physics in bombay there is a college teaching physics in america too there is a college that's teaching medicine in you know chennai and there's a college teaching medicine in america too or england or anywhere so when people meet let's say that somebody studied medicine in bombay and somebody studied medicine in harvard and when they meet they don't say hello i am bombay university i am harvard that's your college if you say i'm a doctor i'm a medicine degree holder in medicine so what you studied is more important than where you studied although where you studied is also important in terms of which is offering better education than something you know another place everybody knows that a medical degree from harvard is valued more than a medical degree from some other place and it is also natural that if you are learning from some professor in your college you think highly of the professor oh he taught me physics or he taught me you know some course and you may think like oh he is the best teacher i got that's all right but that can not overshadow the fact that anyone can learn the same subject from any other professor so a great flaw of religions is that they are entitled to praise the main professor that they have be it jesus or muhammad or you know samacharya but if you actually forget that anyone who has, has access to the same kind of knowledge anywhere else can learn the same thing from any other professor then it leads to fundamentalism in religion but more than that suppose you in bombay there are some x number of colleges that teach engineering or medicine so you can learn only from those colleges nowhere else in bombay you can learn and let's say that there's only one medical college in bombay then it's reasonable for those people to say unless you go to our college you cannot become a doctor that does that may be applicable to that region but if in some other state there is another college you cannot deny that people who go to that college can also become a doctor that's wrong so one of the fundamental problem with actually religion is that when people meet each other they identify by their college i am muslim i am hindu i am christian instead if they identify themselves by the subject they study namely i am trying to love god then just like when you meet and say i am a doctor or an engineer the only question is how much each person knows so if you happen to know more than the other person you, you teach them and if you don't know less i mean if you know less you learn and if you know equal you discuss so when two religious people meet if they can identify themselves as people who are trying to love god and whoever loves god more can teach the other person and if they love god equally then they can discuss So that said in the Bhagavad Gita, both are just parasparam. Parasparam means equally. So conventional ideas of religion suffer from this fact that they do not separate the college from the subject that's being studied in college. Religions are like colleges, and the subject is always God in every religion. So it is okay for people to say, if you are born in India, simply go to a particular college that is Hinduism. and if you are born somewhere else you go to some other college 
So you can say if there is only one religion in a country, if you go to Middle, Middle East and all there is only one religion, Islam. And if you go to some other countries in the West, Christianity is overridingly the main one. So, okay, so they can say, unless you go to our college, you cannot you know, become a lover of God in those places. But they should recognize that there can be colleges established by God in other places too. To simply say that our prophet is the only prophet or, you know, our, uh, you know, religious head, uh, Jesus is the only way. It, 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 its limitation must be understood. In your college, he may be the only way. But you cannot deny any other, the legitimacy of any other college except by showing that you know legitimately the subject better than them. So there must be a fruitful way for religious people to get together and describe God and discuss. In our religion, we present God, Krishna. You know, someone might say, no, in your religion there are so many gods. No, they are not gods, they are demigods. And I have explained that in my YouTube video. Do Hindus worship many gods? I've explained all this there. So, you know, when properly discussed as a academic, like any other subject, God must be learned, then we much of the confusion surrounding religions, competition with religion and all will go. Thank you very much for the question. That was a nice question. Govinda jaya jaya,